destiny brought you into my life. An angel, a queen, one day my wife. No one can take you away from me. I climb every mountain, cross every sea. Eyes that I spend my days dreaming about. Love that reassures whenever I doubt. Looks like this poem has spelled your name. Eternity rules, things won't ever change. The sky looks different out here. Really? It's the same sky? I know it's the same one, but I swear it looks different. It looks bigger, like it goes on forever. A bit like you. Don't hate because man's become a poet since he's been away. Oh my god, do you remember that poem you wrote me a couple of months ago? Which one? Destiny brought you into my life. Oh yeah, that one. An angel a queen one day. All right, all right. No one. That's enough, that's enough. Man was lonely, innit? out here too. Like you can take more of it in. <coughs> I dream about moments like this when you're inside your own time. Just sitting on the green in the middle of your estate on a bench next to your beautiful girl under the sky just breathing in and looking up. So much for enjoying the air. What? I thought you would have quit in prison. The levels of stress inside. I needed it even more in there. Kept me sane, chilled me out. There's so much drugs inside. You're lucky I came out not addicted to spice. Well, you are now. No more stress. Since when did you care about me smoking? I've always cared. First I'm hearing about it. Yeah. Well, you're not the only one who's changed over the past few months. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Thing. Shut up. Look. Just for you. Happy? For now. Where did you get the money for weed anyway? I didn't. <coughs> it was a welcome home present. This is the last of it. How did you move? Someone I know. Tell me that. <laughs> Are you serious? I've already got a probation officer. I don't need to report to you as well. So you're not going to tell me? All right, fine. It was Charlie. Charlie? Who do you think it was? Gavin? I haven't seen him, I promise, didn't I? <sighs> well, that's killed the mood. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I just want you to achieve everything you were dreaming about while you were inside. Oh, you know what I dreamt about the most? <laughs> oh, something was not gonna happen on a bench in the middle of the estate. I want to introduce you to my parents. And I want them to like you when I do. You know my dad's motto. You've got to be learning or earning or both. Yeah, I've only been out three days. I know. <laughs> but you used to write me the longest letters while you were inside, full of all your plans, and you haven't spoken about it since you've been out. Well, I haven't forgotten. Just because I'm not talking about it doesn't mean that I'm not thinking about it. I think about it all the time. Look, first, I'll get a job, any job. And when I've saved enough money, I can sign up to evening classes at college and get my level two diploma in health, fitness, and exercise instruction. With that, I can start working in the gym as a personal trainer. And when I've got a good amount of money coming in from that job, then I'm gonna rent a flat. And then you're gonna move in with me. And we're gonna do all the things that you can't do in the middle of the estate. In the world. <laughs> babies. Lots of babies. I'm thinking five. I thought you wanted four. Maybe even six. Yeah, if you're going to give birth to them. Look, two is enough for me. I'm going to be a working mum, remember? When I start training celebrities, we'll be so rich you won't even need to work. That's nice. But I don't study five hours a day for fun. I'm going to use my degree. Do you think I can do it, Danny? Of course. Plus, you have to. Yeah. 
dad. Mm. I've got to go. Please tell me later, right? Send me a snap to get me in the mood. You're lucky. <laughs> I feel lucky. Trouble in there? Nah, no, it's calm. Yeah. I sent word to a couple of people I know that your family. Made sure you're protected. My way of saying thanks for putting my name out. You know it, man. What are you doing for money? This and that. You work for someone else? Nah. I got a discharge grant when I left prison, innit? What? 50 quid? 46. So what are you doing for money right now? I got universal credit coming through soon. When? About five weeks. Damn! So again, what are you doing for money right now? Hey, I just got some tech stuff in. New iPhones, Apple Watches. I can take you some. Get some money in your pocket. I'm all right. Are you? I know 46 quid is already done. Benefits ain't much better. What is it, 60 quid a week? Something like that. How can a big man like you live off childish money like that? Can't even treat your girl to a Nando's. <laughs> Maybe get a quarter chicken, but no sides. <laughs> I heard your mum kicked you out as well. It was minor. I needed my own space anyway. I'm staying with my aunt for a bit. Jennifer moved out of one bed? Nope. Oh, it's just when you said you needed space. Look, I'm in space away from my mum. <coughs> Look, Gavin, I gotta go. It'll take a few bits. Let me help you out, man. I appreciate the offer, man. I really do, but I'm on probation. Well, if you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. It's good to have you back. Not to sell, this is a thank you. I've got a phone. I've a brand new one. FaceTime your girl at HD. 
I'm taking money out the pocket. Let me worry about that. So you won't even take a gift from me now? No, it's not that. It's a fake. Thanks. It's nothing. Shout me, yeah? Yeah. Come on. Safe. No. No. Well, like, maybe that's why I haven't heard back from any jobs yet. You can't lie on your application, Terran. Half the time they don't even check. That's not the point. People lie on their applications all the time. Some people are told by their aunt to lie on their universal credit application. Say they're staying with their mum when they're not. Because some people's aunts care enough to risk their housing benefit by having them in her flat. And I care about this job. If it's okay to lie to Theresa May, it's got to be okay to lie to the gym. Don't shoot. Oh, oh, done. Done. <laughs> Lighten up, Auntie Jen. Oh, you do my head in. <laughs> I thought I was like a son you never had. Yeah, or wanted. You never told me what's for dinner. Pasta. Oh, I'm going to turn into pasta. <laughs> Did you get any dessert? I know, I know. Do I have dessert money? Speaking of money, Terence. Any money I've seen, I've given it to you. I know, it's just, it's hard right now. Yeah, my universal credit will be coming through soon. You haven't even had your interview yet. Well, I'm applying for jobs, I don't know what else I can do. Have you thought about cashing hand work? Maybe you can ask around the estate, see if anyone needs anything doing. You don't know, you might know someone who can help. I don't think I do. Well, think harder. Okay, I'll ask around. Not Gavin kind of work. You bring trouble to my door, we'll both be out on the street. I know. Look, I want to help you, but the reality is I can only do so much, and I can only do it for so long. Mr. Davis, final call for Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis, the 
from the change rooms again. Is there anything you want to tell me? Uh, like what? Have a think. No. I mean, apart from thank you for all of your help last week. I didn't realise I had so many options until you explained it to me. Terence, you've been here for a few weeks now. How do you think you're doing? Good. And how do you think I think you're doing? Okay. You're wrong. I think you're doing better than okay. In fact, I was singing your praises in our management team meeting this morning. You're dedicated, ambitious, great customer service. Your punctuality could be better. Oh, is this about me being a bit late today? I did call and let Jack know my alarm didn't go off. I think I need a new phone. No, this isn't about that. When we sat down after your shift last week to discuss your plan for college, I made it clear to you that I'm here to support you, that I want to help you get from behind the reception desk and onto the gym floor. And the last thing I said that night is that you can come to me if you need anything. And I'm thankful for that, boss. Like, you're the first person since I've been... Well, like, the first person in a long time that's helped me like that, and I promise I won't let you down. So I'll ask you again. Is there anything you want to tell me? No? HR have been in touch with me, Terence. About your application form. Do you know what I'm getting at? No. An unspent conviction for handling stolen goods? Is that ringing a bell now? No. They must have got me mixed up with someone else.
Why didn't you declare it? I really wanted the job. I didn't think I was actually going to get it. And what about after you did? You could have pulled me to the side and let me know about this. Instead, you've made me look like a right idiot, waxing lyrical about you in the morning and getting blindsided in the afternoon. I can make it up to you. I can forgive a lot of things. But I can't have people working here that I can't trust. Well, you can trust me. Two minutes ago, you looked me right in my face and lied. I wasn't thinking straight. My brain gets mixed up sometimes. I gave you more than one chance to come clean. Even your mixed up brain could have picked that up. You chose to be dishonest. But what about you? You promised you'd help me and look at you now. That one little thing and you're threatening to fire me. It's not a little thing. And it's not a threat. Well then I was right to lie. You can make out like I did the wrong thing, but it's just proves you never would have taken me on. You don't know what I would have done. You robbed me of my choice. And now I don't have one. But you're the boss. If you say you're going to keep me on, you can keep me on. It doesn't work like that, Terence. This is gross misconduct. I have to terminate you with immediate effect. Look, I'll come in early tomorrow. For free. I'll stay late tonight. I'll stay late every night. I need you to go and clear out your lockout and vacate the premises. Now. I'm sorry. Thanks for nothing. Terence, good luck. I mean that. on Universal Credit because I live at home. I tried to sweet talk her, but you're not liking her job, Summer. My wages from Super Fitness will clear in a few weeks. And cash in hand work? Nothing, nothing yet, but I've got my ear to the ground. As soon as anything comes up, I'll know. You got a new phone? <laughs> Don't play with me, boy. I found this under the sofa where you hid it. It's not what you think. Terence, what's going on? Nothing. Nothing's going on. You're mixed up in that funny business again. I'm not. So where's it come from? Terence Benjamin David. You better start talking. You better start talking now. It was a present from one of my friends, but I'll give it back. Which friend? Terence. Uh, Gavin. Gavin! You swore to me. I was going to tell you. And when was you going to tell me? Well, I thought I wouldn't have to tell you. You're going to tell me what? You're living in my flat. I know. What were you going to tell me? But I saw Gavin that he gave me the phone, but that is it. That's it? That's enough? You promised. He clearly doesn't know what a promise is. Don't say that, Auntie Jen. Hope it was worth it. But that nothing happened. I'm not selling. You know I'm not. I'm not selling, Auntie Jen. If I was making money, I'd have something to show for it, wouldn't I? Look, Gavin gave it to me as a thank you for not snitching, and I hid it under the sofa because I didn't know what else to do with it. You should have chucked it in the bin. A brand new iPhone. You shouldn't oh, have taken it at all. I tried not to, trust me. Trust you? He wouldn't take no for an answer. You know what he's like. If your probation officer knew about this, you'd be right back inside. When was this? Done. Answer the question. How long has this been in my flat? A few days after I moved in. Well, last month? You've been lying to me for all these weeks. How could you do this? Get out of my way! I haven't done anything! Well, just let her go, Terry! Stay out of it, Auntie Jen! Done, please! Great! Fucking great! Why did you do that in front of Park? You're angry with me! Oh, you've got some nerve! But I don't know what you want from me, Auntie Jen! I want you to grow up! I want you to take responsibility! Are you serious? What do you think I've been doing? How many jobs have I applied for? I know how many you've been sat for. That wasn't my fault! Oh, nothing's your fault. I'm the one working more shifts than 
reckon I'm allowed to work to make sure you're fed while you had stolen goods in my flat, yet the real victim here is you? You think I want you doing that for me? Well, who else is gonna? My mum! Uh, my mum, who won't even answer my calls, won't let me see my little sister. My mum should be looking after me. And I suppose her choosing not to is nothing to do with you either, eh? Ellie's nine. Maybe she doesn't want you to be a bad influence. Maybe she doesn't want her around stolen goods. I would never hurt Ellie. And what about Danielle? That girl was stuck by your side and look how you've repaid her. Look how you've repaid me after... What, like nagging me every day? Making me feel like I'm not good enough? Feeding me little cereal for breakfast? 20p noodles for dinner? Let me sleep on your two-seater lumpy sofa and have cold showers because there's no money on the key? Maybe I should have sold the iPhone. At least then I'll have a little bit of money to take the edge of all this grief. Oh, you ungrateful little bastard. I want that out of my flat tomorrow. And if you don't watch your mouth, you'll be going with it. Sounds about right. Kicking people out runs in the family after all. I really thought you was ready to change. I have changed. Why can't you see that? Maybe it's a good thing no one stuck around long enough to have kids with you. If this is the way you treat the son you never had, you'd have been a crap mom. Tonight, get all your stuff and get out tonight. Fine. I, I mean it. Seriously, I was just blowing off steam. Get out! Don't you dare come back. But I didn't mean it. Auntie Jen! angry with me? What do you think? Are you mad? You can do whatever you want with it. You can dash it, give it to a friend, burn it. This is proof that I'm not selling you it. You think that's our only problem? I only seen it once, I told you. Once more than I knew about. And I only found out because you got caught in a lie. And I only knew you were lying because I happened to be there when you got caught. I didn't arrange to meet him or nothing. I was just hanging out on the green, and the next thing I know, he was there in front of me. What was I supposed to do? Ignore the guy right in his face? Yes, Terence! Exactly that! Man up and say no to him. I don't know what else you want from me. I don't know what else to do. If you want to focus on the little shit like this instead of everything I've done since I've come out, then I don't know what else to tell you. Why are you getting so loud? You wanted me to quit blazing, didn't you? This is what it looks like when I can't relax. Well, then maybe you have a problem. Maybe I do. Maybe I have a few. When you were inside, I really believed that things would be different when you got out. But you still don't get it. I don't know what it's got to take, Terence, but I 
can't keep waiting around to find out. What's that supposed to mean? I hope it works out with Jennifer. I hope everything works out for you. prison for a little bit. I found it hard to get a job since I come out. I got one for a couple of weeks. Then they had to let me go and I haven't had any money to help out with bills and stuff. I think it just got a bit much for her. Caring for me. Okay. Well that's good. Those who have recently left prison are considered to have priority need. So you can help me? I'll try my best. Are you in receipt of any benefits, Terence? No. I'm waiting for my universal credit to come through, but that's weeks away. How are you supporting yourself at this time? I'm not. Do you have photo ID? Yeah. And do you have any evidence that you are without accommodation? Like what? Well, if you were renting privately, it could be an eviction notice. 
As she'd been living with your mother, it could be a letter from her asking you to leave. She told me face to face. So you don't have any evidence that you are without residence? That's, I'm the evidence. I'm telling you. Do you have any family you can stay with? An aunt or an uncle? No. What about friends? No, not really. Well, you might have a friend you can stay with. Well, maybe, but I'm on probation, so I probably shouldn't stay with him. So no, I don't have a friend I can stay with, actually. Well, has your friend got a criminal record? No. And have you asked him if he can stay? No. Terence, if you have somewhere else to stay, you don't need to present as homeless. Why don't you give your friend a call and ask him? And if he says no, come back and I'll help you find temporary accommodation. Temporary? So we can find your permanent housing. I need somewhere I can sleep tonight. I'm trying to tell you that I'm homeless. I suggest you give your friend a call and then we'll see if that's true. <laughs> Man, I already told you. I can say as long as you need. You had my back, I got yours. You look mush up, man. Real talk, you don't smell too great, neither. It's been a rough couple of days. You know what the cure for that is? A little private time with your girl. Call her over. I'm going out in a bit. You can have the place to yourself. Make as much noise as you want. Have a shower first, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might do that still. Give her a call. Oh, I just remembered. She's seeing some friends tonight. You're still using that busted brick? What happened to the phone I gave you? It's in my bag. Still in the box. Why? I don't even know. <laughs> Gee, I hate to ask, but can you spot me some pee? How much do you need? A bill? Two? Nah, a pinky will cover it. Universal credit still ain't come through then. I'll be getting it through soon, and I'll pay you back as soon as I do. Oh, no disrespect to you, but you were singing that song a couple of months ago. Look at yourself. You're playing by all the rules, and the system's paying you back by keeping its foot on your neck. When's the last time you bought something just because you wanted it? Or did something just for the fun of it? And you're tired of all this stress for no reward. <coughs> it hurts me seeing you like this, man. This ain't the you that I know. This shit is clearly breaking you down. Tell me you don't feel that. 
Let me front you some supplies. You don't have to do it long term. Take a few bits. Do it until your benefits come through. You can walk away when you're, whenever you want. But you don't have to suffer right now, team. You don't have to wake up tomorrow feeling like this. What you got? Terence could have done something different. Uh, I didn't prime you to look and think about that, uh, but perhaps some of you already know the game of foreign theatre. But what we're going to do for uh, just a short bit now is look at what could have been different and what he could have done differently, maybe. Not that we're blaming him. Um, what's the problem here? This is interactive, by the way. It means you speak, you can speak back. What's the problem here? Just shout out for you. One word. No support. It's no support. What else? The system. The system. There's always somebody says the system very, very quickly. What aspects of the system is it for you then? Uh, lack okay. of a human aspect. Lack of a human aspect. You say no care. No care. You think if he had some care, what kind of care does he need? Maybe a care plan before he left prison. What else? People back there are also allowed to speak. <laughs> okay, it's genuinely interactive. You just have to speak a bit louder. I is he responsible in any way for the stuff that happens to him, Terence? Yes? What sort of things might... Uh, where, where, does he, where does he take a wrong turn for you if he takes a wrong turn? The first thing is he accepts the phone off his mate for you, he shouldn't do that. He's in prison because he's, he's, he's been dealing with stolen goods, so he shouldn't do that again. Uh, what else? What else is uh, the problem here in terms of either his behaviour or the system? The benefit system is crap. The benefit system is crap. Lack of advice. Say that one again. Lying about criminal conviction. You don't think he should lie? No. Bad idea to lie. Uh, has anybody in this room ever told the occasional lie on a job application <laughs> for, or anything like that? Or maybe even a CV? One person over there, apparently. The rest of you are totally clean. Okay, so the lying, it's difficult there. Is that the lying that you disapprove of, his lying on the form or any other aspect? Should have come clean when he was approached by his manager. Okay. What else? What else strikes you? Anything? Yes, please. So the total lack of support when people leave prison, 46 quid and that's it. Yes? He, he has nowhere to live and he completely abuses it. He doesn't develop any relationship. He has somewhere to live, lovely Auntie Jen, and he abuses it. She's doing three jobs, she's, she's working hard for him. Yes, in the back there. Say again about universal credit. 
The lack of flexibility of universal credit doesn't support people who have to wait five weeks. So perhaps, why do those people for you have no humanity? Is there a reason why they lose it? They're following a script. It's a conveyor belt. So you're not necessarily blaming them particularly, but again, back to the system. You are blaming them. He's blaming them. I was trying to let him off a bit, but he's blaming them. There we go. OK. He's in a cycle. He's in a cycle it's hard to get out of. Lady there, please. Okay. Okay, but he's made that mistake a long time ago, like a lot of people make a mistake, and I suppose the question the play is asking us is, is it possible still then to rebuild a, a life after you've served your time? Here, and then here, and then here, and then we're going to get on and do our thing. Okay. 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 So mental health support, peer pressure is a problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All across the board. Okay. Very briefly here. Lack of second chance. Does he deserve a second chance? Yeah, yeah he does. Last point here. Thank you very much. For you, it's a long-term result of austerity and everything and how that's ingrained in people. Obviously, well, the one thing we can't do is go back in time. So this work is really about um, working out what people can do every day to make things different, to improve things. And, of course, to be critical of the system, uh, we're going to do a short thing now, and we're going to end the evening with the suggestions that people have made about how the system <coughs> should be changed. But this work is very practical. As I say, we're going to hostels, we're going to prisons, and we're asking people, without blaming people, we're asking people, what could you have done differently which might have got a better result? And that is basically the game of foreign theatre, which we're going to dip into now. So I'm just going to remind you very quickly of the scenes. We're just going to do this for a short time. It's quite entertaining. Um, uh, the, the scenes that you've seen, the scenes that happened, and then ask you to think where might he have done something differently and possibly got a better result. So the very first scene, he hooks up with his girlfriend. Yes? Danielle. Danielle. So, um, and it's all going very nicely. Second scene, hooks up with his old mate Gavin and acquires a phone. Uh, and Gav's, uh, has a go with Gavin's <coughs> lovely new car. Third scene, He's with Auntie Jen, and he presses that button, sending that lie across uh, to the uh, job that he's applying for. And then, job centre, universal credit. He goes to the job centre, he's a little bit late. The universal credit person is quite generous, supposedly gives him another time. And then, a lovely boss in the gym. Lovely boss in the gym, he says with a little bit of, uh, little bit of self pride there. Lovely, gentle boss in the gym and he's lied on his application form, and, and so on and so on. And then after that, Auntie Jen finds the phone. 
Okay, this is how this goes. We're just going to do this very short time. I want you to turn to your neighbour, especially if you don't know them, have a wee chat, and I want you to come up with one idea of one moment in one scene that's been mentioned, or two, where you think, had you been in Gavin's <coughs> shoes, had you been in Terence's shoes, you could possibly have done something different and it might have got a better result. Because this is a very practical sort of rehearsal for reality game. Okay, so just chat for one minute to your neighbour now. Uh, what might you have done differently in one of those scenes and possibly got a better result? <laughs> Just to make sure we move on sharply, other things I forgot to mention are the whole list of things I forgot to mention. So many things to mention though. Sits rising is the hashtag. Is that correct if you wish to tweet? And I believe tweeting is encouraged. And some of these tweets have come from other parts of the world. Okay, so very quickly, where in the play do you think he might have done something different? Just shout out where. Where? Shouldn't have taken the drugs from his friend, yeah? Shouldn't have taken the phone. Come clean with the boss. Shouldn't have got in the car. That lovely car, it's so nicely constructed. I think it's a DeLorean or something. Shouldn't have got in the car. Where, what else? Should appreciate his Auntie Jen. Yeah. Yes, please. No, no, you totally made that point, and uh, I think lots of people would agree with you here. And this might seem a brutal game, because we're not blaming, we're not about blaming this young man. All we're doing is many people we will meet will find themselves in this situation, any of us might do one day. And the, what we're rehearsing here for a bit is what we might do differently. Not to say we're blaming him, but to deal with the hard reality that people find themselves in. So that's what we're doing here. So look, this is how this goes. We'll just dip into this very quickly. And at the end of the evening, absolutely, we're going to suggest some laws, OK? And we're going to go to the top level as opposed to the right <coughs> Um We're going to start with the first of those scenes you mentioned, which I think chronologically was when he met his old mate, Gavin, and he took the phone. For you, that was a mistake. And he got in the car. For one of you, that was a mistake. Um, and this is how the game goes. Um, we're going to run the scene pretty much exactly like it was, a little bit faster because you've seen it once. Whenever you come to a moment where you feel Terence might do something different, you shout, stop. We stop the play there and then. You come down here, you take Terence's place, and you do what you think he might usefully do. Okay, so this is that we get to try out your idea. That's, it's a very practical process. If you don't shout stop, do you know what happens? Same old, same old. Same thing happens again. So it's a bit like life. If you don't shout stop, it just comes out as bad as before. So it's up to you. 
and we're optimistic about you doing something here. So are you ready to do this? We've got a compressed time. Make an encouraging noise. Okay, okay, so here we are. Just shout stop. Are, are you ready? Just shout stop. When the man is meeting his friend Gavin and he, he said, come check this out or something like that. Not beginning the car? Or... Uh, wherever you like, you know better than me. Go. <laughs> Big man, what are you saying, Jeeves? It was true. I've been hearing you out, but I said, nah. My man would have come check me. Drop me a text at least. My bad. Stop, stop. Where was that? Come, come, come. <laughs> And if somebody else has an idea around this period, get yourself close to it. Uh, <laughs> okay, are you ready? <laughs> hey. Amina. Amina. Uh, idea number one, Amina. Big man. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. what's going on? Yo, yo, what are you saying? Oh, wait, what's all that? Oh, oh. What's going on? Oh, I've got to go somewhere. I can't even like Yo, I'm saying hello, like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, what are you saying? But what's happening? Nothing, what? nothing, nothing. You're acting kind of funny, like. No, I've got things to do, I can't. Yeah, but I said hello and I'm trying to talk to oh, you, like. What are you doing so funny for? I'm not, man. I've just got things to do. You're kind of arm. I've got yeah. things to do. I've got some things That's to do. That's good, but I'm trying to say hello, like. Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what are you up to? Other than all that business. I've got to go see my auntie. It's really important. I've got something to do. You know what we're doing? Wait, we're not done. We're not done. We're still talking, okay? Yeah, yeah. Relax yourself. Calm down, okay? I'm calm. We're not like the sarcasm. What are you laughing for? What are you laughing for? What's funny? Nothing's funny. Then don't laugh then. <laughs> Seriously, don't laugh, okay? I'm trying to have a conversation with you. So don't act funny, okay? Cool, cool. Don't laugh at me. Cool, cool. I'm not a man to be laughed at, okay? Cool. You can make jokes, but not right now, okay? Don't do that. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is that progress? <laughs> yeah, some progress. Some of you think it's progress. What's progress about it? She's not showing affection, she put, creates some distance. Yeah. Okay, just come, please come. Yeah. Okay, this is how this game goes, you see. You have an idea, you try it out. Simple as that. I should have said, we're not going to necessarily make it easy for you. You can see. <laughs> Okay, like real life, he's going to push back and see what happens. Okay. Denisha, idea number two. From the very beginning or taking over from... I don't even know, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> Probably the best way. Big man. Big man. What's going on? Are you right? You cool? Yeah, I'm alright. No, I've got places to go at the moment, yeah? Wait, 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 okay, no, that's fine. Can we talk first? No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I went jump. Yeah. And that messed me up. And I'm not blaming you. I can mm -hmm. bring your name into it. Yeah, no, I know that. Right man. now, me and you, we can't be a thing in it. And I'm always going to have Wait, that. what do you mean? We can't talk. Why? Because I'm on probation. I'm not willing to go back to that place. You didn't even hear me. I just come to see how long yeah, I said hi and I got love for you, so we're going to keep No, 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 wait, 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 like that. I we're not, we're not done. I'm yeah, done. yeah. I'm done. I'm done. We're not done. Don't, don't, don't tell me you're done. Okay. Right? It's not fucking done. Do you so understand? What do you want from me? Well, I want to fucking talk to you. Like, and you're, you're actually kind of funny. Like, oh, oh, we need to be. What the fuck is wrong with you? Look, I said to you, I've got love for you, but I've got No, you ain't fucking got love for me. You ain't got no love for me. Look, talking like that. You ain't love for me. Why, why should I calm down? Why should I calm down? Why? Or, or, or what? Calm down or what? Calm down or what? Right. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Let me say it. You know, we're not done. We're not done.
you liked, what worked about what she did. She was honest. She would should for you. She should have just lied. She told him he's going somewhere. She did do some lying, so we approve of that lying. We don't approve of the other lying. <laughs> okay. Anything else you liked about what she did till he turned very unpleasant? I thought. She showed him. She showed him respect. She showed him a degree of love, actually. Yeah. She she put a full stop there. Yeah. And so she's going to deal with it at that moment. Yeah. And then that's the best way she's got to move on from that point. And if she's not going to deal with it, then she's not going to deal with it anymore. Okay, so it's got to be done at the earliest point. Earliest moment. (coughs) Okay, very quickly, anybody got a third and totally different way of dealing with this dealing with this delightful man? Just <laughs> do it from there, it's safer. <laughs> Speak to him from there. What's going on, big man? Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, man, I'm living life. I've been good. That's what I'm going to talk to you about, you know. I want to sort out something, you know, a little business, you know. <laughs> next week? Okay, um, uh, when? When next week? Uh, yeah, Tuesday about um, about about 5 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know what? It's it's, it's fine. It's fine. I, I know where you live. I know where your, your aunt lives. Your mum lives. So you know, I'll find you. I'll find you. Cool, yeah. More difficult than it looks. <laughs> Okay, so lots of ideas about resisting this guy while acknowledging it's really difficult. He knows where you live, he lives in the same estate, he knows everybody, a small area. Um, the, the other thing, just quickly before we move on to a panel, let's just dip into one or two of the other scenes. Somebody said he should uh, respect his, 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 his auntie. Um, uh, let's go, go to the scene. Is that an important scene for you when he's with his auntie? Um, and he, so what? She's the best thing for him. So what's the important auntie scene? Where have they gone? Auntie. Uh, you get the game. You see how it works. So when he's with his aunt, which scene? The scene when she finds the phone? The scene when she finds the phone. Okay. So she's just finding the phone. You, you get the game. Just shout stop. We're going to do this about 10, 15 minutes more, Max. <coughs> I don't qualify for an advance on universal credit because I live at home. I tried to sweet talk her, but you know what they're like in a job centre. Mm, my wages from super fitness will clear in a few weeks. Any cash in hand work? Well, nothing yet, but I've got my ear to the ground. As soon as anything comes up, I... Stop. Stop. Come, come, come. <laughs> Is it you again? It's you again. <laughs> Let's give somebody else a chance. Who else has an idea how to, to deal with this auntie? Yeah, come, please, come, please, come, come, come. We're not doing the... It's okay, it's easier here, it's more visible. Sometimes we do a delivery service and sometimes we ask you to come. It keeps it different then. Very good. And uh, just at the moment <coughs> when she delivers the phone, when she finds the phone, is that right? Before she puts that phone down. Before she puts that phone down. First idea how to do. Uh, anybody else has an idea? Come close, to, come close, because we've got a very short time left. What's your name? Boki. Boki. Okay. Before you put the phone down, you're just about to put the mm-hmm. phone down. You are. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, auntie, auntie, auntie. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Don't give me some fun of her. I have a good reason. You have a perfectly good reason for Just her? Is it stolen? Her 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 no? I promise you it's not. You've got a friend who's going on. You came out of prison with Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs>
Disrespectful. Yes. What else? Yes. Okay. Difficult to contain all those elements at the same time. Um, uh, literally, we have five minutes left of this bit. Um, who has an idea of how to deal with this art? How would you do it? You're not stuck in this play. You can move anywhere, by the way. Anywhere we believe it would be possible for Terence to go. The play is just the launching point. You have an idea. No, you're just scratching. <laughs> <laughs> Who has an idea? Just come quickly. Who has an idea? Where and when? The gym. Come, come there, please. Who else has an idea? Who else has an idea? Because this interactive fun bit is over in a moment. Who else has an idea for another scene? Yes, come, please. Come, come, please. <laughs> One more, because three is a really good number. Three is a good number. Who has an idea? Yes, please come, make your way. It's a long way. Okay, scene number one. In the gym. In the gym, where's the gym? Yeah, he's about to talk to his... When he's about to talk to the boss, he says he wanted to talk to me. Watch this, see how this goes. And, take a seat. Thanks, man. So what did you want to talk to me about? Well, I want to ask you, is there anything you want to tell me? Uh, anything specifically you want to talk about? This? <laughs> I think so there's something I've been kind of hiding from you, I've been really worried about it. Oh, really? Um, so, I had a bit of a dilemma when I was applying for this because there's something I'm not very proud of. Um, so, I actually was in prison and I got released like last week. Yes. Um, but there was a big dilemma about, you know, lots of people lying on their CVs and like I really wanted to tell you, but it kind of thought it would harm my chances of like getting the job or not. And I really, really wanted it. Just because it makes such a big difference to Carvalho. I get, Terence, I get that, that you really, really wanted it, but you still lied on your application form. Why? Who doesn't, man? Like, everyone lies. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I just wanted to get in. That's not the right attitude to have. It really is, it's not. But, you know, I just felt like, if, you, if I was here and you saw what I was like, you'd get a chance to see the real me and how I've kind of really progressed after what happened. In you know you could be arrested for lying on the application form? Didn't. Like criminal record. Do you know? Did you know that? No, I didn't. No? Know. Well, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> you know, I really need a break. In like, terms of what, keeping a job? Yeah, yeah. No! Please, man, uh, like, you to help me out. Look, like, maybe if you had a better attitude, you're, you're, you're laughing it off and you're saying, you're saying everybody <laughs> lies. You were just about to say how good I was. Is it going according to plan? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you like something about that? What do you like about that? What worked for you about that before it? He was honest and that was some benefit, but this guy's got a dilemma. Same, uh, yes, sure. Same, same point. Same point. Um, yeah. Yep, different tactic. Just remind me, how do we meet? Uh, you've, you've met, he's employed you. No, 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 no. I in this scene. I, I came to you to he for, comes for to a you. meeting. He comes to you. Oh, okay. You want it from there? From the top. Oh, okay. Okay, watch this, see what's different. Second last intervention. Exactly like right. Terence, can I have a word? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I need a word with you as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 I'm really enjoying the, the, the job here, and, uh, okay. and I want to thank you for the opportunity. But um, it's really difficult for me. Um, Take your time. I, I lied in my application. You I know? know. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, Why? Only then. Only then because. 
it's been really hard. I've been trying to get a job, but once I, no one ever calls me. Once they see, the, you know, no one ever calls. I just want an opportunity. Look, I, I just, do you understand? I just. I do. I do. And f thank you for telling me. Look, you're a great worker. You really are. Please. I love having you here. I really do. And I'm. I'm look, I want to help you. Please. But I can't keep you here. But, oh, but, but, I do want to help you somehow. I do want to help you. Maybe, you know, I can help you in terms of getting another job. Right. In terms just, of... Just give, me, just give me a chance. I can't do that. I can't not with this job, but I can help you in other ways if you want in, me to. In, in which way? In terms of if you, want, if you want a letter for me to give to you for recommendation for other jobs. I can mentor you, something like that, but I cannot keep you here. Why not? Because you lied. Is yeah, this progress? Is this progress? Yeah. 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 Um, okay, last intervention because of time. And it's a different scene. The gentleman here, please come. And it's the scene where the phone. Aren't you, Jen? You find the phone, you find the phone. Uh, last idea, so we're up and we're hoping it's going to be really good. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, last idea for now. Um, she finds the phone, Auntie Jane, and uh, before she finds the phone, when she finds the phone? When she puts it down. When she puts it down. Watch this, see how it works. Put the phone down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> see my new car and of course I didn't want to disrespect him so I went over and said hello show me your car he showed me the car he then says you know have you got any money can I get you to do some work for me and of course I wasn't going to go anywhere near that yeah. so I said I said to him I can't take anything from you uh, I'm on probation yeah and he says and he says to me I want you to take this as a gift there's no, no strings attached, nothing. I don't want you to do anything for me. And I took it because I didn't want to disrespect him. I thought he was going to get really angry, yeah. even violent with me if I just walked away, which is what I wanted him to do. Yeah. So I took it, and I got back here. I didn't know what to do with it. So I hid it, and I, I, every night I've been in bed thinking, what the fuck am I going to do with it? Where am I going to take it? What am I going to do with it? I can't take it to the police. I can't tell anybody because... I just don't know what to do, and I'm okay. really sorry that you found it, and that you must have had such a bad shot. Okay. Is he of your heart? Absolutely, I'm just a pastor. Very good. Look, that is what we do, and uh, we would normally do it a bit longer and a bit greater depth in different scenes, and we would normally also invite people to take it to different places, and very often people in the forum suggest different places or organisations that somebody in Terence's shoes could go to, to get the support, which many of you clearly feel is profoundly lacking. Um, so